gentlemen, this is Billy here at Psycho Billy's Restoration Shop, and we're doing an oil change today on a 1987 C10 Chevrolet pickup. This particular truck has an updated LS motor in it, and we all love the LSs. Okay, so the first thing we want to do when we start this oil change on this truck, most general pickups are up off the ground, but our cars and our lowrider pickups are going to require a floor jack. So with this floor jack, the first thing we want to do for safety reasons is we want to chop block the back tires. That way, when you jack this truck up in the air, the back tires have these blocks underneath it and it keeps it from rolling out from underneath. Next is we're going to take this jack and we're going to go center license plate underneath the pickup. You want to get on something metal here. You don't want to jack on anything that's going to be light because you're jacking up something that's several thousand pounds. So center of the motor dead underneath. You got a cross member. Put it on the cross member. So with today's application on this LS 5.3, you've got an oil filter and you've got an oil bolt for the oil pan. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna remove the 15 millimeter oil bolt on the pan. What you drain it out, so you kinda of gotta be careful. You need to let this truck cool off because this oil can be hot. So after all your oil is drained out, you put your 15 millimeter bolt back in the oil pan. When you're putting this on, you wanna hand tighten it. Then you wanna use a wrench and just snug it. Do not over tighten. You wanna take your specialty tools and you wanna remove the filter, okay? This blue thing is your oil filter. I've got a set of clamps right here. Easy to get them off on the LS motor. Just spin them, let it drain. When you're going to put oil in your car, the easiest route to know what type of oil that the car uses is normally on the fill cap on the side of your motor. If you look here on the, on the motor, it says 5W30. But when you reinstall the oil filter, these things get hot. There's a rubber piece of trim around here. That motor will heat that trim up. It will stick to your block. So the way we keep it from sticking is you take a little bit of gear oil. Take that gear oil, you rub it around that gasket, and that keeps the heat from making your gasket stick to your block. With your new filter in hand, stick it up to your pan, give it a twist. Now these you do not have to over tighten. You just want to do a hand tighten on it with a towel. You get it finger tight, you take your towel, and you give it a couple of good twists. Once everything's underneath is buttoned up, your bolt is tightened, your oil filter is in place, you can let down your jack, okay? Don't do this fast. Let it down nice and slow with a nice little turn towards the passenger wheel and slowly let your vehicle down. That way you're not to break nothing, to tear anything up. Okay, so the last thing we gotta do here is fill our truck with our designated oil. Again, off the cap, I got the 5W30 and I chose to do fully synthetic oil. You can do different types of oil. Read in your owner's manual to see what your car would take. Go over here to the cap. Twist and remove the cap. Here's your filter. In this particular motor, it takes six quarts of oil. This big thing has five quarts. I've got an extra one there for one. So we're gonna fill it with all of the oil. Nice gold oil. This motor's gonna love it. So once I've got my five full quarts in, I go with my last quart. Once you get this last quart in there, you can put the cap back on and the car is ready to hit the road. So once you get the desired amount into the vehicle, the first thing you wanna do is Every car is gonna have a dipstick. The dipstick is usually got a yellow label on it that says engine oil. You wanna check the mounts on it. Make sure you're in operating ranges. The first time you pull it out, you clean it off. You go back in. You pull the stick back out. You've got your little holes there. And I'm all the way up to where I need to be. Nice clean oil. So I know I've got enough to run the motor. Once that's done, I'm gonna remove Apply the cap back on to the motor. And boys and girls, this thing is ready to hit the road. Everybody have a good day. Today, this is brought to you by Rougiette Ready.